Up there, damn it. MVP's team fight right now is super scary. Oh, oh for all, all dirty power. comes out. Going in deep into the Radiant jungle. He drops a sentry ward. It will be out of range of yes. Radiant. Oh, but the arrow will connect from Feb. Dubru's got stun and wave of terror of Arbol as well. So there's your stun. He's looking for a mirror image. He was actually hoping to dodge the magic missiles, but unable, unable to do so. This will help Febby, and yep, he'll take the first, first blood. blood. Crucial mistake just because they aren't super comfortable with the playstyle. In last game, they are they know how to fight as five all the time, all game long. Top lane for Rev. All right, they're trying to pay down his time walk so they can lock him in and find a stance with a nuke. Hits the fortunes end, but faces Void's already away. A couple of stick charges up his sleeve as well. Down crit and snare for Rev. Doesn't actually have time walk away with the range damage of no tell. They're gonna reach him one second. It wasn't even that, it was like a fraction of a second. Very nice. Gonna find the time to gank up mid. What they may not realize is the Alchemist is in the neighborhood. And crit, well, there's your ensnare, moving to MP, Doo Doo. Arrow flies forward, missed absolutely everything, but Miracle's already so low. Defensive imprisonment will allow him to survive a little bit longer. MP locked in, now the corner! The history heroes! Forever will come back out, but he got more of his teammates than he did the enemy. He still may have enough damage with Alchemist QR arriving. There'll be a three for three trade off. Moon will come in too, lassoing back the chemically raged up Alchemist. He won't really achieve that much with this. Maybe a couple of sticky napalm stacks, but that's all. And for Rev, what? They can get on bottom lane. Dubu should have seen that ward going down from crit. MP, a little bit too far out from mid lane. We'll need a little bit of help. Wave of Terror won't be enough. You need to swap the Stun on Moon, keeping him back, but not back far enough. Damage from Flop going. MVP, they're bringing in support. They need a defensive tower. This is... Oh, they need to keep Fabi alive. Moon can just go straight for the last move. The nuke's easily there. With Miracle with the extra orb damage. damage. Finally, these kills. Noji very happy to use it. They're coming over. OD is the, is the most obvious target. Leap for... No! Forever! Well, the arrows have been off. The first Chrono caught three teammates. And now that one... Well, it catches the air. Gale from MP, he does find no tell in a little bit too deep with the Moonlight Shadow already up. Maybe they can salvage this situation. MVP looking for the time lock with the magic missile. It'll help for Rev to get the last hit before Febby. Nice life there, crit. Life is bringing him back up at the moment. Takes five players from OG, so it's just under 12 minutes. They're able to claim Roshan. Putting the Aegis Immortal into the hands of the OD. And the ping's coming Dyer's out for MP. Yeah, he knows he's too attack. far out. But he needed some kind Dyer's of a space to try and complete up this veil, which looks to be his, his first item from a purchase. I wonder how early you pull him to Ags this game. You certainly want him to be relevant. And without an Ags, I, I don't think he's going to be useful at all, especially with the Oracle in the back lane. Uh, with the Fates Edict, going to be able to nullify most of his damage. Fight, however. Even if he wants to Chemical Rage and jump down to that bottom lane, Oh, okay, they are. They're gonna be forced into it. The swap, the stun, not the perfect timing. There's that. The gets the hit, but the corner was perfect. Miracle of Moon caught for crit. Stops the fun. The arrow will fly through, but it's still not enough. Fly brings him out. Ball from on Miracle. Away with the Eclipse to connect. He won't actually do anything. They don't even need it. The damage is just too much. Even back behind the tier 2 tower, they're willing to fight. Concoction prepared by QO. Flies forward, only hits on no tail. Nortel's still got that saving grace of Sunder up his sleeve. So MVP not finding that sweet spot, that nice initiation. And the ace is the uh, Naga Siren support, just in the perfect position to stop that. And then nice place to fly to, saving up his towers. They don't want QO here at this fight. Like, they want him to be, like, off. off somewhere, like, farming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Their net worth is, like, very even at this point. Alchemist needs to be. Alchemist team rather needs to be like four or five thousand gold ahead, but he has to be the one. Moon, Lasso, he catches Forev. Now Forev does get swapped out. He's got to leap into a Chronosphere now, in fact. And he'll find three heroes. Nurtel combining with a concoction and wave of terror, but Fly, he still kept the life going into Nurtel's three generation duration was too much. They do find the kill over on Miracle, but thanks to Aegis Immortal, it comes straight back up. Duo mopping up the pieces of the initiation of OG. And OG, in fact, okay. Maybe not the greatest time. Miracle. The played there. The Naga's position might be compromised. Oh, the Firefly. The reward. Here they go. Yeah, the Observer Ward's up. Now Dubu can actually break the smoke. Forev jumps in. Chrono is here. Didn't want to trigger a straight away. Now Isolate Miracle. Dubu's still alive. Caught in the edge of the Chrono, which means he will die in the middle of that time vortex. That Naga also low on life. QO was looking for the opening. And MVP, they split to three different ways. As MPU's on the run, but thanks to Moonlight Shadow, they'll get to go invis. The dust is on him. And now that will actually dissipate, but so does the Moonlight Shadow. They've got stuns, they've got ways to fight him.
So the Venomancer accepts his fate, triggers the ultimate, at least keeps OG low. They didn't even need the Nagasar in ultimate from that fight. MP, or sorry, for F stalled the Nagasar in, but she was not really close to anyone and decided to go for a solo ult on Miracle. And Kuhn's like, the low. Okay, mana is still there for Febby. But he's waiting for a good time to initiate. Tom comes in close, means if Febby wants to blink him, like actually leap himself away, Moon can blink along with him with a drum charge too. Febby, he, he knows it too. So there's your, your leap away. Oh, he started the TP and cancelled it. Maybe accepting his fate. Brain Break would have stopped it anyway. You also TP the wrong creep. He could have TP'd a Steve creep and maybe oh, knock him out. Oh, Try to stick around for the last hit in the tower. The catapult will do it. He'll time walk into the river. But the problem is he can't get out of there. Lost too much mana. Dubu will swap him up. And that'll be the saving grace. In the meantime, OG just enjoying. He's actually got 44 stolen intelligence at the moment, so he hits like a truck. Make it 52 and crit with the Song of the Siren. They gather around QO, and ceremoniously they will execute this alchemist. Even with the chemical rage, they flame break him back. QO does not have the life to survive this. And that's a double kill for Miracle. No Chronosphere available, no alchemist unless he wants to buy back. And they're going to rotate to the top lane. Creeps uh, support Miranas. The ability to get a very early Aghanim Scepter. This one's probably a little later than what we've seen. 20 but, minutes is but, really good. 20 minutes is still good. Oh. Just that MVP game we, uh, we passed on the first day of group stages. Oh, hello, goodbye, Venno. Uh, it, we, what we saw, a 12 minute and eight, uh, sorry, a 13 minute and 18 minute Aghanim Scepter. For outliers, Toby. <laughs> they were, they were crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy times. Bro? Oh. Potential leap forward into a bat ride. Now OG smoke at a probably better time for them. And Flora's already sitting inside the pit though. Flora flies forward, doesn't hit any heroes. Oh no again! Forever enough to walk Chrono. He'll have to get himself away. The imprisoned over on the Alchemist. Now lassoing back QO. The chemical rage again not being enough to deal with it. OG damage. The vengeful Spira was attempting a save. Boy, next game. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just hope the Darkseid doesn't get banned out within the first two, like Hoji did to them in this game. No easy setups. Very difficult to hit that Hoji's line back all the time. It creates more time for MVP to build up some kind of net worth of opportunity against OG. Blink last two. They found Dubu. And well, he'll hope for a swap target with a Sun on Miracle. He's actually got one. The Moonlight Shadow also protecting him, but no, the Batrider Flame Break. Team timeout was going to be enough, but this time for Rev. Easy to Kronos will hold the game. Quick Terror Blade, as well as um, as well as the O. Oh, I say the OD to attack background. <laughs> Terrible at that. Uh, we we'll come back in. What, what a surprise! Miracle is dead. Back inside the game as we have resumed. I think it'll keep him alive. <laughs> Just let him stand there and let OG hold him. Down now with the Scotty completed, Aegis the Immortal. Looks like time for a push, he's still got Metamorphosis up his sleeve. Baby's trying to push in the mid lane. The bottom lane's been pushed in by QO, so the other lane's looking good for MVP. But the top lane is the primary one, and actually OG, yep, they will continue. They're bringing all five in, now the Metamorphosis to go. Fortification up for MVP, for Rev, starts the time dilation on the Terra Blade. And slow him down, Concoction prepares as well for QO. They're just trying to get rid of these illusions. Forev with the Moonlight Shadow, also hoping for an opening. Bevy blinks in for the double star fall. No, it sounds like a lot of damage early. And now Forev, it's a triple turn on the back lines. The Song of the Siren will help reset this fight, however. They'll group up, and then they just bail out. Vengeful Spirit swapping him. Nice only from Crit. MP, maybe has he got enough time with the last two? They drag Dubu back. But Crit, he's almost going to die. In fact, he's so low on life, he will tick out to the Venomancer. And Aegis the Immortal will bring no, but no tail back to life. The defense is real from MVP, and this is OG getting the first taste of MVP's fight. They may not have actually stopped it yet. Nurtel getting caught out by the concoction, couldn't dodge it with the mana style. And that's going to be the Terror Blade dying twice over an MVP. Not only do they hold their top lane, they keep their tower. Days are very, very shortly numbered. They're going to be set down to the same in the towers as MVP. Well, looking to fight now, there's still 20 seconds left on Chronosphere, OG. They're under the Obs and Sentry, however, they'll get rid of it quickly. They also don't have Aegis this time. The TP's coming forward, bringing no talent for fight, no Aegis, no Metamorphosis. On cooldown for 16 seconds, Moonlight Shadow, gonna allow MVP to come in closer. The Observer Ward, however, from OG very clearly saw this happen. They still want to fight around, at least the extra armor that this tier 2 tower provides. 
is scanning to see if MVP are moving forward, which is not the case. MVP could win the game with this fight, though. That's one of the fights that's very crucial for them. I'll see if OGR is their weakest. OG just needed the initiation, however, and then maybe they can hold this fight. Kuro's already triggered his chemical rage. And OD, oh, okay, caught inside the chronosphere. Song of the Siren comes out from crit. They're trying to keep Miracle alive, but the Starfall is slowly killing him off. He has the Hurricane Pike himself away. Perem wants to the trees until the Primal can bring him out. OD, nice ulti. Miracle can stand his ground and try and fight this one. Same with No Tail. He's actually got Thunder of Babel. Needs a hero to trigger this. Oh, he's got an over on Perem, who time walks away the damage. Now No Tail can go big. Song down Dubu. They move to QO. The last Uber removal will hold it there. OG, this is going to be the fight for them. Three heroes. They're Sorry, gonna bring Rem. them all down. They need another one for Rev to time walk away. The dire observer ward sees Bebby down inside the river. He's just stopped. And now he'll blink up looking for the kill. He almost found it on the Oracle. But the OG vision let them prepare for it. As Bebby's on the run, but the eclipse drops from Miracle. Four heroes lost for MV. They probably, well, maybe with the illusions they can complete this. Electronic Gale, Shivas, that tier three tower can be denied. And OG maybe looking back to. Take down the recently respawned Roshan. This time, I am very worried for forever. It doesn't really seem to be a fun game for Radiance him at Courier all. That's Radiance Courier. That's a big one. They try from OG. Lock committed early on. Saving smokes for the most important time. Oh, Venomancer already using Gale as well as Veil. Vale. Needs to get him out, and Moon oh, he jumps forward. But there's no gem of true sight on this Batrider, so he doesn't see the retreating heroes. That gem is back timely. over on crit. Yeah, he's had some really good Moonlight Shadows, too. Like, Venomancer or would have been dead on that bottom fight. They did not have Moonlight Shadow under him. Smoke and still up for OD. I think Miracle wants to go for a play. Jump forward. Here's an Hex. MP, five hits from Miracle. And you'll find a solo kill on MP. Through the false promise. A nice on a no count. Even the Gale on a Miracle. He'll be four stars forward. Looking for that hit on the Dubu. Four stars away. The extra stuff. For Red into the fight. QO now needs to go big. No tell. Sunders away all of the life. QO so low. Miracle! A double eclipse! MP needs to push him back with concoction. As well as the Nova connecting on Miracle. It's still not enough damage to bring down this OD, so he four stars forward, looking for the hit on the MP, but he just can't reach him in time. Fight from Miracle. He just went in there. No false promise, no problem. And a uh, nice uh, self astral there to buy a game for the basic point. Starting with the initial Chronospheres, Alchemist, okay. Arrow's gonna fly in, looking for a good target. Five seconds on over on the OD. The Cockney as well, Bevy jumping in. Nice damage with the Starfall, but now Moon's gonna make him pay the price. Drag back in, a miracle with yet. They split the lanes. Remember, MVP still have a small advantage with the momentum that was on the top lane. Heroes gonna try and bump that in a little bit further. And leap is available Radiance for him. He'll leap to start with Blink Dagger attack. further and four stop. Then the TP, the flame break. Oh. It reaches him up in the corner. Moon read it perfectly. Bevy's arrow will go astray, and he understands there is no way to fight this. Moon even dancing a circle around him. The fourth fly will kill Secure with the purifying flame. Now it's Oracle. Yep, for however, Miracle doesn't carry by himself. There's not enough life. Not with the swap tap. Miracle still got cheese and marble. He'll take down two. Follow up with the imprisonment to a third. Alpha's trying to help out, but now Moon has arrived. Flame break Miracle. The lower and then the cheese into the exit. A triple kill for Miracle. This man, only 19 years old. But he is well over 9k at this point. Whole QO in position. Where's the attack? Miracle, wait for it. He needs more damage, but he doesn't have it. He can't attack the BKP target. MVP <laughs> thought they were setting up a trap for Miracle. <laughs> With no fast speakers on the site. Exactly what we expected. Him. You are too far out. Gonna get stunned, gonna get control. No cells on top of him. Terrorblade will find the kill. The buyback's really not there for MVP. Only face the void has it. By the time the Venom Anthro is back up, OG may have taken one lane of rank, if not two. Push is just so strong, Alchemist, Concoction, Aspray, everything you've got, try and slow down OG's attack. The upside is Miracle is still terrible at bringing down Raxus. The upside of a miracle is, however, he's really great at killing off here, especially when Kuro comes this far forward. He took a 48 stolen points of intel, the swap back for Rev. Oh, who's dying from this? But he's already found the Terra Blade kill on BS. 
And this will be a second lane of Rags in favor of OG. MVP rallying the defenses. They spam as much as they can. The lead four, the concoct is done. No tell. Now three man chrono. Nice of Rev. But the song of the siren's gone. The only thing was for OG is the Aegis the Immortal. There's four players grouped up. No tell wants to fight. Make more copies. Make more kills. QO surrounded by OG. And this really is OG's home. It used to belong to MVP. But they can just stand their ground as long as they want to with no tier two towers up. OG can just keep bringing down racks after racks. And MVP are always playing with one man down at least. No hope for them this game. I wonder what they'll do for game three. Will there be another Alk or Heavy Farmer somewhere or game number one style? I think they have a lot more, uh, a lot more fight with the early style. They just made, like, they didn't stack that well for the Alchemist, like, a lot of missed spells. And if you only have, like, one big team fighting ultimate, like the face point, you have to hit those uh, when it matters the most. It's a great individual play from OG. I think great in particular, like, not getting caught in the chrono was huge. That Naga Siren really did just help OG reset everything, but MVP, they're not done yet. They fight to the end. This is the MVP way. Perev, however, well, the swap back can be there with the Sun of the Miracle. So Perev can time walk off a little bit of damage. The Duke sacrificing himself. QO trying to find the front line. Crit comes in. There's your last two from Moon. They hold the big man in place and they get the GG. OG will force this best of three into a decider. OG. After MVP and OG, they went hammer and tongs. This game, it seemed a lot more cool, calm, and collected from both sides. MVP slowing down the pace. Is that actually something they really wanted to do against OG? Like, I know they had the Alchemist. Never, like, all the panel were going for that, but... They just didn't seem that comfortable. I think MP in particular on the Venomancer, like, he played a phenomenal phase this point in game number one, and then this game...